Hey, what's up? It's Michael. Welcome to my channel and YouTube TV's secret weapon can be described in just three words, unlimited cloud DVR. That's right. It's so good that the live TV streaming services main competitors do not come close. Take a look, Hulu Live and Sling TV include only 50 hours of cloud DVR storage in their base plans, while Fubo TV includes 250 hours of storage space. All three services have options to upgrade for an additional monthly fee. Every now and then I get comments from people who say they would switch to one of those three services if they offered unlimited cloud DVR storage, but it's not that easy because cloud storage space is not free and these services all have to pay for it. But in the case of YouTube TV, it has the advantage of being owned by Google, which sells cloud-based storage services to businesses and consumers. In today's video, I answer the top five questions about YouTube TV's DVR, including ways to get around the ads. Let's get started. And we'll start here, number one. How much does YouTube TV's DVR cost? This is an easy one. YouTube TV's unlimited cloud DVR is included with the base plan. As of this recording, that is $65 a month. As I mentioned at the top, YouTube TV's main competitors also include cloud DVR storage at no extra charge, but there are limits. And additional storage will cost between $5 and $10 a month. Philo is the other live TV service that allows unlimited recordings, but I don't really consider it a main competitor to YouTube TV since it doesn't carry live sports and the major cable news networks. And although YouTube TV's unlimited cloud DVR does not cost extra, the service has been teasing us with an optional add-on package, and when it launches, those who purchase the add-on will be able to download shows for offline viewing. Moving on to number two, is YouTube TV's DVR really unlimited? Yes, for the most part, so let me explain. The unlimited part refers to the cloud DVR storage space. You can record as many programs as you want to, even multiple programs that are airing at the same time. But there is a limit, and that's how long those recordings will be available for playback. YouTube TV will save your recordings for nine months in your library as long as you remain a member of the service and up to six profiles are allowed per account, each with their own DVR. So with all this talk already about unlimited DVR, you may be wondering if you even need unlimited cloud DVR storage space. And for people who subscribe to several on-demand streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, and HBO Max, an unlimited DVR may not be necessary because they're streaming so much on-demand content elsewhere. But if YouTube TV is your primary streaming service, or you've got a household full of people who use DVR and have their own libraries, having that unlimited storage space may give you peace of mind. I think of it kind of like cell phone data with your smartphone. Most of us use less than 10 gigabytes of smartphone data per month, but many people opt for unlimited plans just because they don't want to have to worry about going over some data allotment. It's the same thing with YouTube TV's DVR. One less thing to worry about when it's unlimited. Number three, is there a way to record or delete a single episode? And this is the question that I get the most about YouTube TV's DVR. I wish I had a better answer for you too. You cannot record a single episode in a series. Let me show you how it works. To add something to your YouTube TV DVR, you just click on the plus symbol next to a show, movie, sports team, or an event. Then all current and upcoming airings will be recorded, all of them. And when you're ready to watch your recording, you just head over to the library tab. That is what YouTube TV calls its DVR. New recordings are displayed here by default, but you can see other options from the left navigation. Now watch as I select a series. The newest episodes are shown first, but older episodes are displayed as I scroll to the right. And as you stream recordings, they'll be marked as watched. But just like you can't record a single episode, you cannot delete a single episode either. So if you want to remove a program from your DVR, go to the program page and uncheck it. Then current and upcoming airings will not be recorded. You will still have access to things you have already recorded until they expire. Next, number four, what happens if a game runs over? If you like to record sports, you know there is always a chance that a game will go into overtime. 
To make sure that you do not miss a key play, YouTube TV says it will extend sports recordings 30 minutes beyond the scheduled end time. And other recordings are extended too, by just a minute past the scheduled end time. From my experience, in many cases, it seems that YouTube TV is able to detect when a game is going to go long, and it will adjust accordingly even if it is beyond that 30 minute limit. But to be safe, you could always go to the live guide and record whatever airs in the next time slot. Now to number five, why are there ads on my recordings? So just think about what a DVR does. YouTube TV's DVR just records programs as they air on the networks it carries, and that includes the commercials. But if you set a recording before a program airs, you will have the ability to manually fast forward through the commercials yourself. In other words, YouTube TV does not take out the commercials. They're still there, but when you set a recording, you can skip them. When you go to your library, it will include a mix of recorded and on-demand content. Look here. You see that this episode of a series was recorded. But if I select Choose a Version, there's a Video On Demand VOD, option. The difference matters, because only the DVR or recorded content lets you skip ads. If you set a recording, YouTube TV should play the DVR version by default, but it is good to know that there is so much VOD content in case you ever forget to set the DVR. And now another tip to avoid commercials. If you add a show to your DVR and sit down to watch it after it started, you'll be given this option to start from the beginning or join live. Let's say you add an hour-long show to your library. It airs at 9 p.m. You sit down at 9.15. If you select that play from beginning, you can then skip through most, if not all, of the commercials in that hour-long show. And just one more thing, a bonus tip. I recently learned that if you have any trouble with a recording, there is a way to let YouTube TV know about it. From any recording, select Down on the video player and click on the More Options icon. Then choose Report Recording. And here, there are several options to report the error to YouTube TV. If you got something out of today's video, give it a like and stick around for my video on the YouTube TV settings you need to know about. Until next time.